Hey folks, Ariel over here. Well, not exactly at Fine F today, with a massive um, elk herd that I got to watch in some pretty heavy spring snowfall the other day. Um, I would say this herd was maybe 300 or more animals. Um, I was only, you know, trying to film the ones closest to me that I could get the best shots of, and of course the, the more distant ones were almost impossible to film through the thickly falling snow as you can see here. And I'll just say right now, there is none of the original audio in this video. I try to leave it in with wildlife stuff anytime I can, but guys, you can probably tell from looking at the sagebrush there, the wind was howling this day. I was filming from a roadside. A, uh, a car makes an excellent blind for a lot of wildlife as they've gotten pretty used to seeing them, so a, a parked car on a road edge doesn't tend to freak them out. The wind was rocking the car, um, so you're gonna occasionally see some motion in this you know, footage that I wish wasn't there. But anyway, the the original audio was nothing but a wind scream. So anyway, uh, if you don't, when I'm done talking, if you don't want to listen to a little peaceful music, then just hit your mute button and watch the critters because I didn't want to tear anybody's eardrums up with the screaming wind. Anyway, this is, uh, we are getting towards spring in Wyoming. The snow is melting here very rapidly, about a month earlier than it normally does. And uh, elk tend to winter in the lower lying areas where the snow is less deep than in the mountains, where it's easier for them to paw through it and find food. And as the snow starts to recede in the spring, they start to head back to higher elevations. So this is a herd that's migrating back toward higher elevations, but the migration is slow. Most of the snow has not melted yet in most places, and so they move a little bit, stop and browse, sleep, move a little bit, and so on. It's not like a, a forced march or anything. So today they were browsing through this sagebrushy area, and I was able to watch them for quite a while uh, until my hands were going numb and the rest of me too from the cold and the snow but they're fascinating creatures i if you if you've never seen an elk they're about the size of a you know a large cow um you know, domestic cow, a female elk is called a cow, a male elk is called a bull. You'll notice not many uh, appear to have antlers in here. The little ones that just have prongs are called spikes. They're kind of yearling or two-year-old bulls, depending on how they grow. And most of the bigger guys have already shed their racks, just like the moose. They grow a whole new set of antlers every single year. They drop off in the spring and then they grow a new set. So you don't, you're not gonna see many big racks in here. I think you do see one. And at one point, if you're looking uh, in the background, I didn't even see this until I was actually editing the footage later, you'll notice a moose walk through behind all the elk, uh, back toward that tree line that you can see right now. And I didn't even pick that up, but there was also a moose in the video until I was, like I said, doing the editing. It's hard, hard to get a camera to focus on what you want through the snow, so it's a little bit challenging filming. Anyway, they are magnificent, huge creatures. They can uh, weigh up to, oh, I think close to a thousand pounds. A, a big cow's probably 800, and a big bull's a little more than that. And I clearly remember the very first time I saw one. My friend Jess and I, who, if you follow me on social media like me, we or anything, you will have recently seen photos of her visiting me in Wyoming. Anyway, when we were both in our teens, we took a road trip around the west and we drove through Yellowstone Park and I had never seen an elk in my life. And a massive bull was standing on the side of the road shoulder right beside us. And we both looked at him and I rolled down the window looked at him and I turned around for one split second to place my hand on my camera to pick it up and he evaporated. This nearly thousand pound animal standing in what looked like an impenetrable thick forest line to me with this gigantic rack of antlers on his head just vaporized. I didn't hear a sound. I didn't hear a twig break. I didn't hear a leaf rustle or anything. They're, they truly are amazing creatures. And they, they're looking a little bit scruffy at this time of year, though they seem to have come through this winter pretty well. By the end of summer, they'll all be all sleek and shiny with their summer coats and not have any of that scruffy, uh, you know, thick winter coat that they've got here. But anyway, I really enjoy watching wildlife, as you probably know. And I know wildlife videos aren't the favorite of some viewers of this channel, and that's fine. I share them because I love them and I want to provide 
some of these opportunities for those of you guys who do enjoy watching them. So this herd is mostly cows or, or female elk and last year's calves, so the, the yearling calves are getting close to as big as their parents and a bunch of little spike bulls and only one bigger bull that still had a, a rack attached that I could see at one point. But it was beautiful to watch them through this freezing snow and um, just browsing and making their way gradually across the landscape. By midsummer, they'll all be high, high in the mountains and you won't be likely to see any unless you um, put in a lot of effort to get well out of a valley floor and well off a road and all that kind of thing. So anyway, I hope that's a little interesting info about elk and uh, that you guys enjoy watching them as much as I did. And you can do it in the comfort of your living room with no howling wind or freezing cold snow blowing all over you. So thanks for watching. Enjoy the wildlife.
right, folks, Ariel over here. I have always been fascinated about how a camera it works almost like a time machine, giving me the ability to share with you little glimpses of wildlife and nature that I'm surrounded by that many folks will never get a chance to see in person. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And if you're interested in checking out more of my photography or getting your own prints, canvases, aluminum art for your own walls, check out the links below. Have a lovely day.